Hey guys, Kurt from Time Machine Transport. So I had a big ass mistake, and uh, I didn't when I put my uh, my camshaft on. I didn't put the bottom bearings on. So I was going walking through the shop, and I saw my bottom camshaft bearings in a box. So I literally, I already had the front cover on. I had everything else done, and I had to pull everything apart. So now that I got the front cover on, now I gotta make sure that those bolts didn't drop down there. So I pulled everything apart. Well, you can see this little mark on the thrust plate. That little divot, can you see that? I don't know if you can see that, anyways. So, I found one of America's best mechanics, <laughs> Jesus and his son Orlando. But what I did was is I smushed because, I remember on the one video I showed you guys where the dowel pin has to line up into that hole in your thrust plate. Well, I smushed it, and I almost tossed this camshaft across the shop. And thank God I didn't, because I was unaware that you can actually replace the dowel pin. So the dowel pin, uh, that's the part number on it, right there. And it is, is that dowel pin over here? Dowel pin is in the top um, right here. Oh, yeah. Here's the dowel pin right here. Yeah. So, hey, Seuss, because we're trying to get it out, and it's pretty. It's in there pretty good because obviously I even drove it in further, further when I when I smashed it. That's the dowel pin, and oops. So, hey, Seuss is doing his magic on it, and then he's going to help me put the truck back together. So, um, anyways. But as I was doing this, when I showed you guys how to, or when I explained how to do the camshaft, Jesus, because I didn't see anything on uh, YouTube on this, but Jesus, that was the look of the camshaft bearings in there. And yeah, I'd put oil on them or whatever, like I was supposed to. But you see them now? So you go get some Scotch Guard, Scotch Bright. And I've already done, remember I told you, like, the guy said you have to take the bottom ones and reverse them to the top and then, you know, vice versa. So, um, Jesus said you should clean those up because there you get a, there's like an oil in there, you said, Jesus? It's like a silicone. So, make sure you take some brake cleaner, doesn't matter what kind you use, and a regular rag. Wipe them off first to get all the oil off. And then take it and spray a little bit of brake cleaner. And you just need to do the insides of the, of the camshaft bearings. And yeah, I do have a little bit of wear on a few of these, but I'm okay with that. So Freightliner does not have these, and they're talking about a week to get them in, and I don't have time for that. So, um, so this is what they look like prior. So I still got two more to do. And that's what they look like afterwards. Right there. So am I videotaping correctly? I think so. Um, and then uh, Jesus is going to help me put it back together. So anyways, um, I just wanted to tell you guys not to make the same mistake that I made. And don't put your camshaft bearings in. <laughs> so anyways, I uh, hope this was informative. And uh, like I said, Jesus said that's the way you got to do it. And then once, obviously, you put them in, uh, you got to put the oil in it. Just refer back to my previous video on how to, how to put it in. But like I said, don't be a dumbass like me and not put in your bottom bearings. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Cheers.